Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Tech Motoring. On today's episode, we're going to be going over the Electrify America app, but more specifically, what the home button does in the bottom of the app. So hit that subscribe button, stay tuned, we're coming right back. All right, everybody, well, welcome back. Now, as some of you may know, a few months ago, I had picked up the Electrify America Home Station Level 2 charging system for my house. And I had done an unboxing video, which I'll put right up here. And then after that video, I had also done an install and, you know, first impressions video, which I will put up here as well. And that has been working great for me recently. However, if you're not sure if you're sold on it yet, well, a big part of having a level 2 home charger, especially a smart home charger, is having access to an app that controls it. And of course, you want to make sure that the app, number one, looks good, and number two, is functional. However, with Electrify America's home station charger, you don't get access to all those menus and options that you would have until you have it already installed. And since it's a fairly new charger that's just been out for a few months, I figure I'd take the time and actually produce a short video on what it looks like and how it looks. And this way, maybe if you're on the fence about buying the Electrify America home station for yourself, maybe this will be the reason that you make the purchase. So let's go ahead and dive on in and see what it looks like. So as soon as you open up the Electrify America app, you are greeted with this very obvious map of all the Electrify America chargers around. Now, in the very bottom of the screen, in the center there, you see a button named Home. Now, if you do not have an Electrify America charger, you get greeted with a basic splash screen that looks like this, and basically says, if you're interested, click here to purchase this charger. Now, of course, if you wanted to see what the interface looked like and you wanted to see exactly what you can do, well, you don't really have the ability to do that unless you see someone who actually has it already installed. Well, lucky for you, I already have one of those stations installed and I use this app all the time when charging our electric vehicle. So let's get into it and see what it looks like. So as soon as you click on the home button down there, you will be greeted with this very nice screen. And as you can see right at the top, it says home station. And if you click on that pull down, you'll show that it shows your home station that it's ready. You can add another charger or you have offline charger options, which if you go into that is basically just changing power settings or factory resetting the device, both of which require you to actually connect directly to the charger from your phone, not something you do off your Wi-Fi. Now getting out of that, you'll see that you are greeted with a picture of your charger. Now the really cool thing about this is that is actually a dynamic picture, which means that it will change based on whether or not your charger is idle, or if it's charging, or if it's plugged in and not charging. So right now you could see that it is green, meaning that it is on, but not plugged into anything. If it was blue, then you would know that it was charging a vehicle. And if it was blinking blue, then you would know that it is plugged in, but it is no longer charging a vehicle at that point. Right next to that, you see this says last charge. Now that last charge is literally the last time you plug this charger and charge a vehicle and how long that session lasted. Now you can see that I had put 4.9 kilowatt hours into my vehicle on the day that was August 26, which is really recently and you can see that it was a remote star and we'll go over what that means in a moment now under that you'll see something that says start charge which means that you can manually control whether or not you want to have to pull your phone out to start charging a vehicle or if you want to do it based on a schedule now we'll go over the schedule shortly but this is a really nice feature in the event that you have to put your charger outside of your house and you don't want somebody rolling up to it and just plugging their car in so this is kind of a nice little feature that you can manually start charging your vehicle after you plug it in and then pull out your phone and start the app. Now underneath that you see something that says next charge. Now this is the beginning of your schedule right here. Now if we click on manage we go into that schedule and as you can see you can turn on or off that schedule right at the top here. And of course you have a schedule based on what you choose. 
Now, the cool thing about this is that you can choose to do this all by yourself and you can turn on and off these days however you prefer. Or if you go down here, there's this thing called rate plan, which you can add a plan from your electricity company and it will actually base it off of your peak and off peak hours for your electricity company, which means that if you leave your car plugged in, all day long it will only charge during the hours that are off peak meaning the cheapest electricity this is pretty neat i personally don't use it only because our peaks are seasons not you know during the day or during the weeks which means for us it really doesn't matter if i plug it in in the middle of the night or during the day however we do have solar which is why you see my schedule is from 12 p.m to 5 p.m which is pretty much when we produce the most amount of solar energy now, of course, you could override this at any time by hitting that start charge button, which will actually just disable your schedule for that time. And then you will just end up charging your car based off of that. And it will keep going until it's either full or you unplug it or you hit the stop charge button in the app. Now, below the charge schedule area, you see the history. And this history shows you everything that you have recently plugged in and charged your vehicle. Now, the cool thing about this is you can actually click on one of those and it will bring you into an overview of what it was. And it shows that this last charge that I did, 4.9 kilowatt hours of energy we delivered, it shows the date, it shows the time that it was plugged in, and it shows the duration of that time. And of course, it shows you the amount of energy that was delivered, which is really, really cool because at least now you can keep track of exactly how much energy you are using from your home charger. Now, the one thing I wish it had was a graph showing how many kilowatts you were pulling during the charge, whether or not that the charge stayed stable throughout the entire time, or did it taper off and start to go down towards the end. So I kind of wish it had a graph that shows that, but unfortunately at this point, it doesn't currently have it. Now that is pretty much as far as the app goes, but there are a lot of other settings in the app that you can change. So if we go up to that gear icon in the top right corner, this is pretty much all of your settings and options that you have for this charger. Now, as you can see, there are two options right here, auto charge and remote charge. Now, the difference between these two is auto charge says that it will start charging when you plug in your vehicle and stops charging when you unplug. Pretty straightforward, auto charge. Now, remote charge is kind of like what I was discussing before, where you can actually plug your vehicle in, but it won't start charging until you hit start charge. Once again, prevents anybody from just walking up and plugging in their car and stealing power from you if you happen to have this on the outside of your house. Now, the other thing you see here is the schedule. You can go into this and start creating your schedule from here if you prefer. You could go into charge history here as well and also shows all your history from your charge sessions and of course you go into smart home now this does have amazon alexa and google assistant functionality however i have not tested these and i don't know how well they work i did research them a little bit and honestly it really isn't anything i you could basically just tell alexa to uh you know start charging my car and it basically prevents you from pulling out the app and hitting start charge i mean honestly that's that's about basically all it does but I'll leave it up to you to determine whether or not it is a functioning feature for you. Underneath the smart home is Wi-Fi. Now this basically just shows you which Wi-Fi network that you are connected to. And then of course you have power, which is your power setting. So depending on the size of the breaker that you ended up hooking up your charger to will depend on your power setting that you choose for the app. So make sure that this is good. However, this should always be determined during the initial setup of the charger and that you should only change this if you were to change out your wiring and your breaker to match the needs of this power source. And then of course below that is the view manual button which is kind of nice. You can pull up the manual real quick and of course you can always call support right from the app as well which is very nice. And that is pretty much it as far as the app offers. Now, of course, they can expand this functionality in the future if they determine they find a need or a use for it, which I'm excited to see if they do happen to find other little 
things that you could put in there. Like I was saying before, maybe a graph where it shows exactly what you were charging at and see if it ever tapered or changed during your charging session. And you know, of course, there's a lot of other possibilities as well. So obviously, if you have the suggestions, send it to them, let them know. Maybe they can update the app to give us more functionality about this in the future. But that is pretty much as it is right now. Now, this charger has been working great for us the last few months, and it has been fantastic. We haven't had any charging errors or issues while we've used it. And honestly, it just does the job very well. And I'm very happy with it. And I'm going to be doing a full review on the charger in the near future. For the time being, I hope this gives you some insight into the app and the functionality of the whole reason of having a smart charger in your garage. And, you know, if this did help you out, go ahead and give it a thumbs up just below. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there as well. Now, of course, also remember that I have done an unboxing video of this charger and I've also done an install video of this charger. So if you're curious about the Electrify America Level 2 home charging system, go ahead and take a look at those videos as well. That might also help you decide on whether or not this is the right Level 2 home charger for you. Well, everybody, that's about all I have for you for today. Don't forget to check us out on our website, techmotoring.com, facebook.com slash techmotoring. We are also on Twitter, at techmotoring. I'd like to thank you very much for watching, and remember, welcome to the future, and welcome to Tech Motoring. And we will see you on the next episode.